We are about to embark upon a series of strange and exciting, dangerous adventures. Adventures that will lead us to all parts of the world. Hello and welcome to another Bad Comic Review. This time we're looking at Hardware Season 1, Issue 1. This is a mini-series from DC Comics in 2021 based on the milestone characters from the 90s. This issue was written by Brandon Thomas, pencils by Dennis Cohen, inks by Bill Sinkevitz, color by Chris Sotomayor, letters by Rob Lay, cover by Matthias Mahanihin, ed by Amido Totoro, assistant editor Marquis Draper, senior editor Chris Conroy. We start off with a very young Curtis Metcalf at a rally and he's talking about how black people are constantly murdered and how he believes he was framed for the events of the Big Bang and we see him suit up in his armor as the police come to arrest him and of course being innocent he immediately grabs for a weapon and then sets off a massive explosion and drops a building on the cops so he just decides to prove he's innocent by murdering a bunch of police officers to attack helicopters I guess go after him they never shoot at him but he attacks them immediately because the police in this book are are just faceless bad guys they are not diverse they have no feelings or emotions they're just generically evil and the issue is largely centered around him fighting the police we learn that he may have been set up by Elva Elva lifted him up out of poverty and sent him to all these schools and got him educated and then he started working for Elva at his corporation and Metcalf is portrayed very much as an entitled spoiled brat through the entire thing he's very arrogant but he seems to feel like he is owed everything that's given to him that he doesn't work for the company the company just owes him everything that's how it comes off in the book so yeah he does come off as a very angry man and a very entitled one at that that his genius somehow allows him to do whatever when he explodes a police helicopter and it crashes there is dialogue that says the the men got out in time i don't know how it blew up in midair it's clearly a big explosion the concussive force of the blast would have killed everybody inside and probably everybody in the neighboring helicopter helicopter that it almost certainly struck with shrapnel so he just straight out murdered a whole bunch of city cops to prove he was innocent so he's only bent on revenge he doesn't give a damn about the collateral damage of anybody on the ground that could have been hurt by these explosions two massive explosions in the city and he thinks he's innocent whatever this guy's a villain he is very much a self-aggrandized angry man who thinks that he is innocent and doesn't care who dies in the process of proving it well now he's guilty of pr at least the dozen murders from what I could tell not to mention collateral damage to neighboring buildings from both explosions anybody the debris fell on because he didn't pay attention to anything in the surrounding area that that stuff may have landed on or the debris went into he probably killed a dozen people at least this is just a villain book I'm not really interested in some psychopath story of vengeance it's not a massive departure from the original because he was pretty angry and out for revenge in the original series but he didn't come off as a psychopath like he does here it's a real disappointment too because the art is fantastic this is some of cohen's best work and ink spice and kevitz really adds to his art style so it's been some of his best work in decades and he wastes it on this petty racialized book about revenge and it really does come off like a really racist book this is very very anti-white and i have issues with that i don't want to read a bunch of racist propaganda the whole black lives matter stuff that's wedged in here is very ham-fisted but the fact that curtis seems to blame a lot of his problems on white people as a generic group really comes off as racist and i'm not interested in supporting that so i'm not going to pick up any more issues the story was kind of lazy for somebody that's supposed to be a hero he really acts like a villain and i don't have much interest in villain books so i'm not going to recommend this i think it was pretty annoying and poorly written and definitely portrays a lot of racist animosity in the book that i don't want to see in modern comics it's really disgusting to see this kind of racial politics in a comic book where where people are supposed to be heroes and heroes unite they don't divide so i have no interest in this book and i'm not going to support it and i'm not going to recommend it and i'm not buying another issue instead i'll go back and read some of the older stuff if i can find it cheap and maybe that will be a little bit less entitled and racially negative that'll do it for this one thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways links to my patreon the teespring store and my streamlabs are all in the description and as always we hope to see you on the next one